What's going on, guys? What's up, Tim? What's up, Ryan? What's up, Mike? <clears throat> Hoping for some big pulls today. And Mike, we got to break that auto streak for you, man. Giants and Angels. <clears throat> Oh no. What's up, keepsake? Mike, that sucks, man. I just realized I got to go to the LCS tomorrow because uh, my latest shipment of sleeves is a little behind. I think I only have a few hundred left. And a few hundred sleeves is not going to get me through all of the <clears throat> cards that I need to sleeve and top load still. So I have like 500 left. All right, you guys ready to get this show on the road? We got 10 people in here. So we got, I don't know. 40 percent of the break, maybe, maybe half. I don't remember how many people are in this one. What's up, Grant? <laughs> yeah. Thanks everyone that helped us fill this today. I'm really glad we got to, we got it filled so quick this morning so we could get this done. <clears throat> All right, so we've got four boxes of jumbo with three autos each, and then we've got the uh, first edition after that. Good luck, everybody. <clears throat> I hope we pull some fire. Guys, it didn't hit yesterday. Hope you hit today. If you came back for more. Frank, if you want to uh, give someone else some of your mojo. What's up, Eric? What's up, Jason? Most of our autos yesterday were in the top, top row. We'll see if that holds true today. Top row or third row, typically, is where we will find the autos. I would love to see some red, especially a, uh, a red auto would be... Awesome. All right. Starting off with row one with a color and or auto there. You can see the 
For those that don't know, the uh, the autos and the uh, numbered cards, the chrome ones anyway, are thicker. So you can see when you look at the side view there, you can see the thicker card there. So it's row one and three as usual with color and or auto and rows two and four with none. We did have a, a couple packs that were a little different that had an extra numbered card in there. So um, and we had the one with the, the variation that just <laughs> threw everything off where we had two autos in one, in one stack. All right, so we're gonna fly pretty fast through the paper, just like we did yesterday. Um, only the Torkelson paper am I gonna uh, sleeve and top load right away. Um, but uh, all the all the first Bowmans will at least end up with uh, a sleeve and a, a team bag. Chrome first Bowmans will get top loaded. <clears throat> it's a nice Addison Coffee Refractor to start us off. Alec Thomas Refractor. It's a nice Crochet first Bowman. Xavier Edwards, Marco Luciano, Takoa Roby, it's a nice Asa Lacey, Aaron Shortridge, and a Franchise Futures for the Padres, Hassel and Lang. Um, and uh, just so everyone remembers, all, all cards except for non-First Bowman paper are shipping. So if anyone wants the... Uh, non-first Bowman paper. Um, I'm giving it away. You just seem to pay for shipping. And someone already claimed the uh, for the first break. So if you want the non-first Bowman paper for this break, just let me know. Um, I'm give, giving it away. I don't want it. I uh, just also don't want to sort it. So if anyone wants all of it, just let me know. Uh, the first editions, though, I'll ship the first editions because some of the first edition paper, like the uh, Jason Dominguez and a couple others, those papers are still worth a few bucks. Um all right, sky blue, Brandon Fat. Very nice. What did I say? Last spot mojo, Diamondbacks already hit in the first pack or first stack. There you go, keepsake. And a nice Dax Fulton refractor. Nice Colt Keith refractor. Cantillo, Solari. Dyer, another Ace of Lacey, Shortridge, Libertor, and a nice 20 and 20 Ed Howard. I meant to set the. Hand us some coffee aside. It's a refractor first Bowman. Two Ace of Laces already.
Junk in the top loader. Come on, Ultra Pro. Anybody else grab themselves a uh, a case of uh, Ultra Pro top loaders? They had the regular top loaders. Um, on the website the other day, full cases are usually sold out. Yeah, nice, Mike. Yeah, uh, I don't know if they're still on sale, Chris. You have to check the Ultra Pro site to see, but uh, I grabbed a couple cases. Probably should have grabbed more, to be honest. I just don't have a ton, a ton of storage space. Ed Howard. All right, this is a nice uh, J Rod refractor. Sam Weatherly refractor for the Rockies. We have color here. Looks like we got a sky blue coming. Clayton Beater. Hernandez, Logan Allen, first Bowman, Will Klein, and a Corbin Carroll, sky blue, with the Zach Veen glimpses of greatness. All right, first auto coming here. Let's see if we got color. We got purple. All right, starting with a, a numbered auto. Make sure the focus is locked in here. Nice Max Meyer. There's a nice Tanner Burns refractor. Hans Kraus, Clayton Beater, first Bowman, Ronald Hernandez, Jordan Adams, Zach Deloach, Hunter Barnhart, and our first auto. It's an Astro, Tyler Brown. <clears throat> Tyler Brown at 250. He's got a nice looking auto with a franchise futures. Marlins behind it. Nice Tyler Brown for Adrian. Adrian, didn't you hit an auto yesterday? Did you hit was it a blue Santos or was that just a numbered uh, refractor? I don't remember. Either way, Adrian. Nice start here for the Astros. First auto. So we're still getting too many pitcher autos, though. We need uh, we need more hitter autos here. All right, we got two uh, two color there, so probably the auto there. 
pictures of you. <laughs> You're right, they are. Hey man, I like pictures. I just, I wish their autographs uh, held trading card value the way that hitters do. It's understandable though. They tend to have more injurious careers. And uh, the way baseball has changed, the starting pitcher is rarer and rarer that they are a workhorse that pitches a ton of innings. All right, looks like we're we're getting just uh, two two color in in one one pack here for this row. The Kirsted paper. And I just realized, forgot to bring the paper to the front. Dylan Dingler, oh, there's a Torkelson. I think we had, how many did we have yesterday? Nine, nine Torkelsons. It was a lot. I know that. Tigers did well. They didn't get a Torkelson auto or numbered card, but uh, they had that nice Trey Cruz speckle auto. A couple other nice ones. Got a uh, nice Petey Halpin refractor there. Robert Poisson refractor. Lee Rutman, Miss Karen Mitchell, Corbin Carroll, Swallow Peraza, nice Pete Crow Armstrong for Miggy, Miss Drew Romo, and a Zach Bean 20 in 20. Any, does anyone else follow uh, Pitching Ninja? On Twitter, I think Pitching Ninja is probably my favorite baseball account on Twitter. Um, so if you don't follow him, you should. Um, but uh, he was running a a poll based on several polls that he did of who has the best changeup ever. And uh, curious to know what you guys think. Who do you think has the best changeup ever? While we're talking about pitchers. Yeah, he, it's a great follow. Yeah, Maddox, Hoffman, they were in the, they were both in the final poll. It was Maddox, Hoffman, uh, Devin Williams, and Pedro. Yeah, Johan got a limit yesterday. I think Johan's definitely uh, underrated. Tyler Freeman, Ian Bedell. When it comes to... Uh, Nice franchise futures at Howard Burl Caraway. When it comes to change ups, he definitely had one of the best. But I don't know, picking between the, the four finals is pretty tough. Uh, I know Devin Williams is a new guy, but that change up of his is just filthy. Looks like we got oh, we got a green paper here. Green paper. But I had a lot of fun watching uh, videos of all four of those guys uh, with dirty change-ups. Luis Castillo, too. I mean, don't sleep on him. That change-up of his is just pure filth. He's got one of the better ones. Very nice. Green to 99. Garrett Crochet for the White Sox. A little ding in the bottom right corner from the pack, unfortunately. And uh, miscut like all of them are. Or not all, but 99% of them are. The, uh, the paper color really poorly cut this year. But that means everyone's in the same boat for the most part.
Still a nice card. Yeah, the red on the edges of the inserts. It, it threw everyone off yesterday, too. Uh, trust me, I'll let you guys know if I see when I see color ahead of time. Yeah, Maddox was filthy. I mean, I think the thing that set Pedro apart is just his arm speed was so much greater than Maddox. Got so much pack dust already. Uh, because he threw so much harder that it was just even more deceptive. Um, but yeah, I mean, just you're splitting hairs between all those guys. Nice Mason Wynn refractor, nice Brandon Fat refractor, Jimenez, Crochet again, Xavier Edwards, Tyler Brown, Ryan Rollison, there's a nice Drew Romo, and a Bobby Witt. Glimpses of greatness. Auto pack. We got color. I don't know if I don't know if it's the auto. It looks like the auto is a base refractor, and then we got green in front of the auto. So we got a green refractor coming, and then a uh, not a four ninety nine refractor. It looks like. I'm just gonna start pulling the paper separate. It's so much easier than doing it all, holding it all in one stack. Nick Gonzalez. All right, let's All right, we got a nice Austin Wells refractor. Very nice for the Yankees. And a Warner Blakely. We had a nice black auto of him yesterday. Very nice. Justin Lang, Joe Boyle, Bobby Miller, RJ Dabovich, and Jackson Rutledge. And we got a green, not a first Bowman, but a Jay Groom for the Red Sox. Very nice. To 99, number 88 of 99. Now let's go on to Jason. Congrats, Jason. And our auto, it is a hit. You can see the bat there. It's to four ninety nine. Saul Garza. I have yet to to see uh, a Garza because I don't think he has a base card. He's just an auto, right? Very nice though for the Royals. Garza to four ninety nine. Great hit there. He's got a nice looking auto. I like that auto. It's very, very loopy. For Neil, who bought in today. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he was auto only because I've never seen, I haven't yet to see one of his base cards. So there we go. I think that's the first auto only guy I have pulled in all of our boxes. Very nice Garza for Neil. Congrats, Neil. His first break with the uh, Bomba Squad here. Glad you hit. Oh, Rosario's auto only. That's right. You're right. I forgot. We pulled that auto for you, Grant. Just the, the hit wall there. Anybody else, uh, anyone see?
everyone else I assume saw that uh, Tatis and I think Cano are playing uh, in some games right now. That's pretty fun. All right, last stack of box one. Got a probably the auto there. So if you go to your LCS and you and they open a fresh box of this, take the top pack, take one of the top packs, or buy all three and get yourself all the autos out of that pack or out of that box. All right, got a re refractor color of some kind there. So yeah, good time to be at your LCS right now is when they open a new box of uh, Jumbo. Grab one of those top packs and it's a pretty high likelihood you'll get one of the autos. <clears throat> Oh, we got some uh, purple paper coming here. Purple paper. Try a little, uh, little different format here so we go a little faster. Do two stacks of paper at once. There we go. Hunter Bishop, 250 for the Gigantes. Very nice. For Mike. Still need to find that elusive auto for you, Mike. Hope it's coming though. Maybe a Patrick Bailey. All right, two stacks of refractors here, or chrome here. Trey Cruz, nice refractor there. Brett Beatty. Hunter Bishop, nice Austin Hendrick. Landon Knack, Luis Gill, Zach Daniels, Brendan Davis, Franchise Futures Pirates. Nice Casey Martin refractor, Ronnie Mauricio refractor, Twaggy. Ellison, Blade, Jared Jones, Bailey Horn. Hey, that's the first time I've seen an applied pressure of Jordan Belzavik. Very nice. For the Twins, Luke and Grant, and a Kirstead Glimpses of Greatness. That's the first. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't even know Belzavik had a uh, applied pressure insert. It's the first one I've seen. Twins top pitching prospect. Yeah, what's up, Adrian? You, you hit the first auto, man. Gold box topper Detmers, nice. Yeah, I've pulled, uh, pulled a Detmers auto. I could pull another one for you. Yeah, that's, that's a nice one for you, Adrian. So let's show it to you in focus there. All right, I'm just going to uh, move some cards over here to the uh, sorting tray. Stacks are getting high.
All right, we got some color coming. It looks blue. Two color. Sky blue and a blue. So one of those might be an auto, but we will we will we shall see. Paper here, so we can fly through that. Max Meyer. All right. Rockies of note. Uh, I think we had a Romo, a Romo Chrome, I think is all we've had so far. Um, and a Veen insert. I think that's, that's about it. Rockies wise. Uh, oh, you had a refractor of Weatherly as well, I believe pitcher what do we have here okay that's uh that's gonna be the auto Got, uh, glimpses of greatness nick gonzalez quinn priester refractor Corey lee refractor Burl Carraway, Logan Hoffman, C.J. Abrams, nice Jordan Nwogu, Jesse Franklin. We got a sky blue Jimmy Glowenke, very nice for the Giants, and a nice blue Trevor Larnick to one hundred and fifty for the Twinkies for Luke and Grant. Very nice, like blue on the Twins. Nice Foskey Refractor, Casus Refractor, Bedell, Bonin, Hunter Green, Chikani, and our auto. It's a base auto. It's a hitter. I think I know who it is. I swear I've pulled like five of this guy's auto. Garrett Mitchell again. Wow. We pulled a refractor Garrett Mitchell yesterday. I think this is like the fifth auto of Garrett Mitchell I've pulled. I've pulled so many Garrett Mitchells. That's a real nice hit for Milwaukee, uh, for Ryan. Nice hit, Ryan. Congrats, dude. It's definitely uh, a real nice one. He's got a nice-looking auto. He's a first-round hitter. People are high on him. Congrats, Ryan. Definitely a real nice base auto. If you're going to get a base auto, make it a first round hitter. And that is it for box one.
Knox two, good luck. Uh, we had a Tyler Brown to 250, a Sal Garza to 499, and a Garrett Mitchell base auto. We just finished box one. Bonus color in this stack. Just the auto in this stack, it looks like. All right, let's get through this paper here. We got color in here somewhere. Maybe in the next stack. Like uh, sky blue coming here. Sky blue, Shane Drohan for the Bow Sox. Going to Jason. Very nice. First Bowman to four ninety nine. All right, let's get through some chrome here. Whole size of refractor, Owen Miller, Nick Lofton, Nick Hambly, Ashby, nice hassle, Calabrese, nice Connor Phillips refractor, Mitchell Parker refractor, Jeremiah Jackson, Gage Workman, Brady McConnell, Tolentino, Swinney, Norris. Nice Kirsted 20 and 20, Riley Green, nice Chriswell, Dominguez, Nicholas, Goss, Prater, Vaughn, and Neil Cruz, and there's a Torkelson. Glimpses of greatness. All right, auto time. Looks 
like we got uh, Blue. Blue Auto coming. More color. So we like to see. The torque, I don't think it's numbered. It wasn't uh, wasn't thick. Yeah, it's not numbered. It was reg it was regular thickness. So the inserts too, they're they're thicker when they're numbered. I just double checked though. Yeah, the, the glimpses of greatness, they shine they do shine a little different. There's a nice Santos refractor for Adrian. I'm telling you guys, those cheap spots, they're so easy to hit on. That one unfortunately has a a bubble. But uh Nice card there. Langoliers Refractor. Volpe. Polkovic. Joe Ryan. Looks like we got a blue wave actually coming. Ian Seymour. Ooh, and it's a jersey match. Trent Palmer. It's a Trent Palmer case, too. We had a Trent Palmer yesterday. That's a nice looking card. The Veen uh, Romo franchise features behind it. Very nice for the Blue Jays. Going to Josh. Nice hit, Josh. Very nice card. Very pretty. It's a uh, Minnesota guy. We got uh, double color coming there, like that. More color coming. Put that in the auto sack there. Oh. Oh, I hope I didn't give away the auto. There's a torque. Paper first. Here we go. There's our Torkelson. How many torques do we have now? Three. 
Who's on uh, who's on torque count? Kirsten. Did anyone see who the auto was? Don't say who it is if you did, but I accidentally uh, lifted one too few cards when I was separating the paper and the chrome. But I know it's out of focus back there, so you might not have seen it. I ho I'm hoping that's the case. I hope no one saw it. Wit. Is there color back there? Ooh, we got a blue blue paper coming. And it's Luis Gill for the Yankees. Not a first Bowman. But uh, very nice to 150 for the Yanks. All right, Chrome, we got a real nice one on top here. There is a Zach Veen refractor that is uh, at least decently centered. Very nice hit there for Nathan. Ryan Jensen refractor, George Kirby, Ragsdale, Bitsko, McMahon, Vukovic, Deloach with real bad print line. Or sometimes these... Uh, No, not a print line. Hey, sometimes it's not a print line. Oh, but the other one is a print line. So there was a smudge and a print line on the Deloach there. Pete Crow Armstrong, 20 and 20. Nice Hudson Haskin refractor. Nice Ryan Murphy refractor. Hey, there's an Ed Howard. Larnick, Siani, Encarnacion, Coar, Jarvis, and the Blade glimpses of greatness. Yeah, the uh, the Veen refractor is definitely a nice one. And remember, guys, we got a box of first edition after this, too. So if you hit a, a color in, in that one, those are worth quite a bit. Love to pull an auto. I've got I'm eight boxes into that stuff, and I have yet to pull an auto. So I would, I would love to pull an auto. All right, we got uh, two color and an auto. It's like the auto is a base. But we got two color coming. Nice Marco Raya refractor for the twins. Another nice Tanner Burns. Tristan Lutz, Carter Baumler, Jimmy Glowenke, Nick Lodolo, Casey Schmidt. And we have a sky blue Garrett Mitchell. It is a Garrett Mitchell case. Very nice. Just crushing the Garrett Mitchell. Franchise Futures Orioles. Nice Nick Garcia Refractor. Grayson Rodriguez. Nolan Gorman. Jordan Belisavik. Nice Nick Gonzalez. Hernandez. Segesi. 
We got a purple. It's a purple Dodger. Bobby Miller, very nice. First rounder to 250 for the Dodgers. That's uh, Neil again. Nice, Neil. Nice hit there for you. And our auto is a pitcher for the Nats, and it's Holden Powell. Holden Powell for the Nats. Wonder Ray. Congrats, Ray. Grabbing one of those cheap spots late, and you hit an auto. Holden Powell, first Bowman autograph. That was a nice little uh, stack there. Bunch of colors, some real nice refractors. This is a, this is a real solid stack. Nick Gonzalez, our first, first chrome of Nick Gonzalez that we've seen. And I need to grab another thing in top loaders real quick. Twins are having a nice break here. What's some other uh, what's some other baseball banter we can talk about? I like to talk baseball in my in my breaks. It's not just about the cards. Uh, who do you guys want your team to sign or trade for or trade away this winter? Who are the guys you want to see come in? Who are the guys you want to see go for your favorite team? Here's some let's hear some hot takes. Bauer to the Chai Sox. I don't want that. I'm a Twins fan, so I don't want that. Hendricks to the Phils. Okay. Phils need a bullpen, apparently. Probably our auto there. I'll try not to screw it up this time. There we go. You want the Yanks to sign DJ? Wouldn't you rather they uh, let DJ go and trade for uh, Lindor? Cubs need to clean house. Yeah, they probably do for a for a reset. Ooh, is that orange? We got some orange. We've got some orange. I hope that's an auto. It's in the third pack though, so I think it's probably uh, not an auto. Probably just a, a refractor, but still orange coming. Yeah, I mean, DJ, uh, he, he's had a couple of good seasons. I would much rather have Lindor, personally. I think, I think Lindor is a future Hall of Famer.
that being said, I would very much like it if Lindor was not on the Yankees. So, Darvish and Contreras, yeah. I mean, I, I'll take a Darvish. Twins could use a Darvish. The White Sox should be in on everyone. I mean, the White Sox are loaded right now. They they should be in on everyone. Yeah, the 2020 was short and a weird season. I mean, a lot of people didn't have a good 2020. I wouldn't put I wouldn't put any stock into that. Lindor is one of the best shortstops in the league. He's, I think he's third in war since he came into the league. He's third in war in all of baseball behind uh, Mookie and, and Trout. I mean, I think that's a guy literally everyone should want on their team. It's a great defensive shortstop, and he can hit from both sides of the plate. Siani, we got a sky blue. Nice, Segesi. Sky blue for the Rangers. My first Rangers hit today. Chris, did you buy your Rangers or did you buy someone else? Can't remember. Yeah, you bought some you bought the Rays. So that's uh Jason. Nice Jason. Jason's having a nice break. Yeah, Yelch, but I think anyone that just had a bad 2020 will bounce back. I mean, it, it was a weird season, a shortened season, no spring training. It is a weird, weird season. You can't put too much stock into it, into one shortened season. I, Lindor should get way more than $200 million. He should get at least $300 million. He should get paid as, as – I would think he'd get paid as much as Mookie because he's a shortstop. And he's young. Yeah, I mean, the Yankees are crying poor there. They have the money. Yeah, I mean, Springer can still play. He'd be a good signing. Nice Nick York refractor. Perdomo. There's a nice Carson Tucker, Chamberlain, Priester, Lee, Garrett Mitchell, Burl Caraway, Applied Pressure, Jason Dominguez, Glimpses of Greatness, nice Casey Martin Refractor, Ronnie Mauricio, Kate Cavalli, Miguel Amaya, Quinn Cotton, Jordan Adams, Jordan Westberg, Espino, and Franchise Features for the Mariners. Yeah, I know it's a luxury tax. That's still crying poor, though. I mean, the Yankees have unlimited resources. They they could they could spend as much as they want, and it's not going to actually affect the wealth of the Steinbrenner family. But yeah, that stand contract is going to be a bad one. It's going to age poorly. Big guys like that don't uh, usually age well. Krause refractor, another nice Austin Wells refractor. Vientos, Alika Williams. Hey, there we go. There's a Torkelson chrome. Cheater Downs, Takoa Roby. All right, we got orange. Ooh, it's a hitter. 
It's Casey Martin for the Phils. Very nice hit there to 25. Five of 25 for the Phils. For Josh. Josh N. Nice hit, dude. Those cheap teams stay hidden, guys. Yeah. I mean, I, I used to live in New York, and uh, Xavier Warren, very nice. Bobby Witt. Uh, Yankees games are fun for some of the atmosphere. Like, it's fun to go as an away fan to a Yankees game and have the fans, like, give you shit. But uh, City Field is a much better uh, ballpark experience, better food, um, better, better stadium. All right, we got our auto. It's a refractor. It's a hitter. It is Hayden Cantrell. Brewers. Brewers case, guys. It is a Brewers case with a Riley Green glimpses of greatness behind it. Holy cow, the Brewers. Two nice hitter autos. Hayden Cantrell to four ninety nine. Very nice hit. Fee <laughs> Brewers. Ryan, don't you have the Brewers? <laughs> Are you saying freaking brewers like in a good way? That just seems like a uh, freaking brewers, man. But you're saying it in a good way. I got it. I got you. Well, I know what I want the twins to do this offseason. I want them to bring back Nelson Cruz. I want them to trade Eddie Rosario. Uh, I want them to trade Jorge Polanco. I want them to sign Andrelton Simmons. Those are the big moves. I mean, obviously, you can always use more pitching. So, you know, do what you can. Find some more pitching. But uh, those are the three main ones. Definitely bring back Nelson Cruz. Trade Rosario and Polanco. Keep a rise at second base and sign someone that can actually play shortstop. And then you put uh, Alex Kirilov in left field as the new uh, everyday left fielder. All right, that's the end of box two. Just loading up the uh, cards into the sorting tray here. All right, box three. Nice. Yeah, I have a few Cavaco autos too. I like Cavaco. Yeah, Kirilov is nice. I bought it, like I think a lot of like eight or ten of his refractors for like forty bucks. His first Bowman refractor, which I thought was a great deal. I think he's going to be a star. He can really swing it. All right, box three. I like Kirilov a lot more than Larnik. Uh, Kirilov's got more power. Um, and uh, I think can, can probably has a little more athleticism to play the outfield. Um, Larnik, I think, I mean, he can hit, but I just think his swing, he's got – he doesn't have a lot of leverage in his swing, so he's going to, I think, hit for a pretty good average with a lot of line drives, but uh, not a lot of home runs. Oh, that's sweet, Mike. Yeah, I, I mean, Kirilov, I think, is like a guy that's going to hit, you know, 300-plus with 
25 plus bombs. Uh, Larnick, I think, is going to be a guy that could hit 300, but the lighter on the power, kind of like a Joe Mauer, but not a catcher, so not as valuable. We got some more color coming here. Yeah, I mean, the Twins can hit for sure. Royce Lewis, yeah, I like Royce still. I mean, I think he still has some stuff to iron out in his swing with no minor leagues this year. Um, I mean, it just kind of remains to be seen what's going to happen with him. Uh, I, I think he just tinkered too much with the leg kick and stuff, and he just needs to go back to what worked. Uh, I think the Twins kind of screwed around with him a little too much like they did with Byron Buxton um, and let him screw around too much. Uh, but, I mean, the talent is obviously there for Royce Lewis. He just needs to stop screwing around with his swing and go back to what works. And, you know, some of that's on the Twins, some of that's on him. Same thing happened with Byron Buxton. But you saw having Buxton uh, started hitting again this year. He got back to what he does best. It's not screwing around. I mean, I think Lauren, I think Kirilov, he could start opening day, but, you know, arbitration clock, they'll probably hold him back so they can get an extra year of control out of him. So keep him down for a few weeks until they can get the extra year of control, push back his arm clock. And then he'll be up. Because they've got capable, I mean, Big Cave can start for the first month. But uh, Rosario's got to go, in my opinion. He's just, uh, he swings at everything. He's not a good outfielder. Um, he's got a great arm, but he just, he takes horrible routes to the ball. And uh, the Twins have had him in a lot of high leverage spots, like batting him clean up and stuff, and he just he swings at everything. Not my favorite player. And uh, Polanco just he can't play shortstop. He's he's brutal defensively. He's got no arm. He could play second, but uh, but I like Rise. Um, yeah, who who played shortstop for the Phils most of the time last year? Didi, right? I want Andrelton for the Twins. I mean, give me that all-time great defense. Any offense he gives you is just gravy yeah dd uh, yeah that's what i thought i mean there's a few free agent short saps it's a nice uh, Dominguez refractor, Helio Ramos, Ashby. There's a nice Robert Hassel. Ramos again, Calabrese, Nolan Gorman, Jordan Belazovic. Franchise futures for the Padres. Nice Segesi refractor, Rollison refractor, Tolentino, Swinney. Norris, another Dominguez, uh, Kyle Nicholas, Goss, Patrick Bailey, 20 and 20, and a CJ Abrams glimpses of greatness. Oh, yeah, but I bet it was fun to watch him play Juco. 
just slanging it from deep in the hole. He's so fun to watch. Best short stop of all time, in my opinion, defensively. Some people say Ozzy, but I'll say fight me. I think it's Andrelton. All right, we got some color coming here. We got a sky blue and I think a blue. Yeah, it looks like a true blue in the auto spot. Nice laying refractor. Liam Norris refractor. Levi Prater. Andrew Vaughn. Anil Cruz. Nick Lofton. Zach McCambly and a sky blue on Yale Cruz. Nice Ian Seymour refractor, Ben Hernandez refractor, Blake Rutherford, Ian Seymour, Jeremiah Jackson, Gage Workman, Torkelson's teammate. And we have a blue Mariners hitter. I think I know who this is. Zach Deloach. Didn't we hit a Deloach auto yesterday? Deloach case. And a Max Meyer, uh, Dax Fulton franchise features behind it. Very nice for the Mariners. Deloach. Vizquel. Vizquel is a great shortstop, but I still think Simmons is the best. The numbers say Simmons by a long shot. Advanced stats. Um, when you look at uh, defensive value, when they just, even the old school way of tracking it, where they just literally had guys look at every play and see where the play was made. by zone it's not a perfect science but when a guy is as far ahead of everyone else as Simmons is by all those metrics I think you can forgive the imperfection of it yeah that was a, that was a real nice card real nice true blue I shouldn't have put that one away we should keep that one out I did not see the pick of Dominguez today, but it doesn't surprise me that he's jacked. I mean, he looked like a giant person as a 16-year-old, so. You know, we're, sorry, we're going to take this pitcher auto down in favor of the that nice true blue Deloach. Uh, box three. No twins autos yet. Oh, is this pack two with some color in it? All right. Pack two with some color for the first time, I think. Oh, wait, did I take? Oh, I took from the wrong stack there. My bad, guys. I'm gonna set that aside because that's from the that's from the wrong stack. I got distracted talking baseball. That's our auto for the for the last stack. Let's save that.
Hey, we'll get to get through some extra paper here because I did that. So. Just going to keep that over here for the last last stack there. All right, let's fly through some paper. I didn't see any color, but could have missed it. Not a fan of just skipping all the paper because the paper is shipping. So want people to see all the cards that they're getting and make it very clear that I'm not keeping any of them. I think some people just skip through the Chrome even just to get to the autos. And tell you what, if I was in the break where someone just skipped past the Chrome, I'd wanna, I'd wanna see that stuff. Okay, we got some blue here. Here we go. We got a blue paper of Clayton Beater. Very nice and somewhat cut decently. Yeah, I mean, five hours, you're right. After a while, you do need to, I mean, I, I get it for the guys that are doing like tons of cases. If you're just doing like one break like this though, let everyone see all the cards. But yeah, if you're doing tons of cases, I get skipping stuff. Um, for those guys, the giant breakers, I, I definitely get that. And I mean, those guys obviously have gigantic followings and they're not going to screw around because it would ruin their reputation. But I like to take my time somewhat, you know, chat with you guys a little bit, have some fun, get through it as quick as we can without damaging anything. There's a Torkelson. It's our torque count at five. Five-ish. I will say though, the actual break is never nearly as tiring to me as <laughs> sorting. Sorting is uh, it's the real work. All right, Ashby Refractor, Larnick Refractor, Man, Vukovic, Deloach, Seminaris, Henry, Groom, Hassel 20 and 20, Tyler Brown Refractor, McCambly Refractor, Glowenke, Ladolo, Casey Schmidt, George Kirby, Ragsdale, Bitsko, and Ed Howard Brill Caraway Franchise Futures. Nice Baumler Refractor, Rutschman Refractor, Siani, Encarnacion, Kowar, Jarvis, Lutz, Baumler again, and a Rutschman Glimpses of Greatness. All right. Auto time, and I think we got color in addition to the auto. We do, we got purple and an auto. 
Kyle Nicholas Refractor, Tristan Lutz, nice Nick Gonzalez, Ben Hernandez, Thomas Segesi, Larnick. There's a nice Ed Howard, and we have a purple Garrett Crochet. Very nice. That's a purple paper and a purple chrome. And our auto, oh, it's a big one, guys. It's a big one. It's a Kirstead case. Kirstead to $4.99. It is a Kirstead case. One in each break. Very nice. For the Orioles. Going to Josh. Congrats, man. Huge hit there on the uh, Kirstead Refractor. That was a nice, uh, nice stack there with the crochet purple. And the Kirstead. Yeah, I mean, uh, there being an auto in one half of the case definitely does not discount it from being from pulling that same player in uh, later in the case. Yeah. So far, hey, we still got a, a box and a stack left. So you could. Uh, you could still still win big with a bean. You did not miss your hassle auto yet. It has not come yet. I think it's in box four. I think it's going to be the very last auto of box four um, because we just have to keep you in suspense, Frosty. We got to keep you in suspense. Definitely a uh, nice half case here so far, though, with, uh, with the autos. Been pretty nice ones, some nice color, too. Overall, the case as a whole is a real nice one. Yeah, you've been in suspense for a long time. I know, man. I know. All right. So that is our auto for the last stack there that I, I accidentally opened the, that pack early. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, this has been a nice, uh, nice case for sure. I hope we see a red. I, I want to see a red refractor. I like pulling red, man. Got uh, something, something here. I think maybe some gold. Gold and a sky blue here. Don't I don't hate that. All right, let's finish off box three here with some goodness. Here's a Veen paper. Kirsten.
some color here. Yeah, I think we got a yeah, purple purple paper. Shea Langoliers for the Bravos. Purple paper. All right, chrome time. Francisco Alvarez, Refractor, Quinn Priester, Quinn Priester again, Corey Lee, another Garrett Mitchell, so much Garrett Mitchell, another Belazovic Applied Pressure, Glimpses, Asa Lacey, Vukovic Refractor, Hunter Green Refractor, Jordan Adams, Jordan Westberg, Sfino, Vientos, Alika Williams. There's another nice Torkelson and a franchise futures for the Padres. Another nice Torkelson. I think we're, I think we're at like seven Torkelsons now, something like that. Not bad. It'd be nice to, to hit a big one though of Torkelson. Not a cheap spot, but uh, you will get at least one in the first edition. I've never seen a box without at least one Torkelson in it, so those are still worth a nice amount. It's a Holden Powell refractor, Emerson Hancock refractor. It's a nice one. Jeter Downs, Takoa Roby, Libertor. Nice Carson Tucker, Chamberlain, Sky Blue, Shane Baz. That looks nice in a raising form. And a gold. Gage Workman. Ugh. Not the Tiger we wanted, but uh, still a nice card. Still a nice card for Andrew. Congrats, man. Hey, Frosty, there's a Hassle Refractor at least. McMahon Refractor. Acker, Ladzinski, Cavale, Amaya, Quinn Cotton, and our auto. Sammy Infante for the Nats. Just a massive break with the Hancock glimpses behind it for the Nationals. All right, Ray. Here you go, dude. Sammy Infante. Auto. Very nice. Frosty, your, your hassle refractor. All right, so we, no pressure, but we need a uh, Hassel, a Torkelson, and a uh, – well, we still need one for Mike. So, Mike, we need a, an Angels or Giants auto as well. I like that Shane Baz. I wish it was like a Alika Williams. Nice Emerson Hancock there for Seattle. All right. We are ready for the final box of regular draft.
got to move everything over to the sorting tray here. All right, here we go. Final box. Regular draft. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, he better be. It's been one hell of a brewer's case. That's for sure. You guys seen the uh, design for 2021 Bowman? I think it looks really nice, but it also looks like a ripoff of uh, Panini Prism. It looks much better than uh, 2021 flagship, which I think looks like hot garbage. Which sucks because 2021's gonna have a lot of nice rookies and I, I already know I'm not gonna like the flagship or Topps Chrome because I just I hate the design. Looks like it was made in by someone using that was PowerPoint, 1997. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I like it. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I think Panini Prism looks great. I like it. It's just funny to me that they basically ripped off Prism. Like, even, like, the, the indentations are, like, the same shape style. The... Uh, 
the little dimples along the edges, like it was just so obviously a ripoff of of Prism. But it looks nice. I mean, Prism is a nice design. Groshans, Robinson, Patrick Bailey, Groshans again, Taglia, Palmer, Jones, Horn, Asa Lacey, Futures, nice Nick Lofton refractor. Hey, there's a nice Patrick Bailey refractor for you, Mike. J-Rod, Weatherly, Caraway, Hoffman, PCA, Stott, Luciano glimpses, nice Spencer Strider refractor, Anyal Cruz refractor, Chikani, Duran, Miller, Rutledge, Hancock, Alvarez, and a Foscue 20 in 20. Yeah, I think it looks nice too. Yeah, flagship, man. Miss me with that. Flagship looks like crap. You can't even read the the font. It's like this stupid block italic font. It's so bad. So I'm going to be after the, the Bowman rookies more than I am the flagship, I think. Get those Bowman Chrome rookies. Who knows? Maybe it would be interesting to see how the market values them because I think a lot of people hate the flagship design. All right, what do we have here? Green. All right. We got a green auto. Let's go. Corey Lee, CJ Van Eck, Luciano. There's a nice Jordan Walker. Shane Baz, Christian Robinson, Tyler Freeman, and a green Detmers. Yes, Mike. We did it, man. The streak is broken. Congrats, dude. Hell yeah. To 99. Reed Detmers. He's got a nice looking signature. I like that. Very nice stylized RD. All right, Mike. Congrats, man. We finally got you an auto. Glad we finally broke your cold streak. Very nice. Reed Detmers. First rounder. To 99. And that was uh, Franchise Futures for the Rockies behind it. Yeah, man. Hey, we're one, one out of three. Now we just need the uh, Hassel and the Torkelson. Really need to get a Torkelson, or I mean a Hassel for Frosty. The dude has just been shut out. We gotta, we gotta get him one. All right, we got uh, some nice, nice double color going on there, like that. That's right, Tim. Keep keep the streak breaking going is right. Yeah, Mike. That was a good grab, man. Good grab. All right, we got three color in this stack. There's another one right here.
All right, here we go. Lean. Has anybody uh, bought into any Bowman's Best breaks? I've had a lot of people ask me about Bowman's Best, and uh, so far my verdict on it has been that I, I think the price point was a little high on it. So I haven't bought any yet. Um, but I do, I like the design. I think the cards look nice. I just, I know the resale value on those isn't super high and 200 bucks is a lot for a box. I can get them a little less than that, but not much. So, um, say, so, oh, you're in a break for some cheaper teams. Did you get in with uh, top loaders? Are you are you in Adam's rake? He's doing a full case. I saw. Oh, that's nice. Was that expensive? And a sky blue Xavier Edwards, another sky blue for the Rays, looking nice. The really shiny, interesting edge there. Fifty five for a case. Yeah, I mean, I just don't know how you're going to get 55 bucks of value unless you hit like a big auto, right? I mean, I like it to be that like you, you know, you hit an auto of your team and you're and you're in at least pretty good shape. But I just I don't know with Bowman's best if that's that's possible. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it'd be a fun one to just do like cheap single box breaks with random teams or something. Because I just, I don't want to do like high dollar Bowman's best breaks um, if people are going to have to hit like huge autos to make make it worth it. Where like if they just hit base autos, they're still losing big. You know what I mean? 410 for the six cases. Do you feel like you got close to that value? Player auction? Yeah, we could do player auction. I mean, auctions are kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, Hoffman, Peraza, Polkovich, Abrams, Carter, Britton, Blakely, Foscu, Nick Gonzalez, 20 in 20. Britain Refractor, Belazovic Refractor, Tink Hentz, Cage Workman, McConnell, Nwogu, Bishop, Van Eck, and a Max Meyer Glimpses. Yeah, Heritage High Number will be fun. Are you going to buy some? Luke? I got to figure out what to do with uh, my, I got three boxes of Brooklyn collection and that's some real nice stuff, but I want to mix it with some other things. I just got to figure out what to mix it with. Oh, that'd be sweet. Well, talk to me about it, Luke, because let, let me see if I can get us a deal on a case. Unless you already have a good line on one, but let me see if I, I can get us a deal on a case. Nice, Jason. Here's a nice Nick Gonzalez refractor. There we go for the Pirates. Earl Caraway refractor. Spencer Strider. Tristan Casas. There's a nice Max Meyer. Levi Prater. That's our first Max Meyer, first Bowman. 
Sky Blue, Nick Lofton. Oh, there's a nice looking card. Don't I mean, don't you just love it when the jersey matches? I mean, look at that. That's just pretty. Very nice card there for the Royals. Franchise Futures for the Orioles. Ooh, we got a, a speckle and a purple. I think the speckle is going to be uh, just the regular speckle refractor. Freeman, nice Carter refractor. Nice Austin Hendrick, Peraza, Schuster, McClanahan, and a speckle of Corbin Carroll for the D-backs. Nice one there for the D-backs. Yeah, Jason, that's exactly what I thought. I thought it should be 150 a box. That was the price point I was looking for on it. And uh, when I saw I could only get them for like 180 something, uh, just too much. And we got a purple auto. It is an Oakland A. Dane Acker. Dane Acker for the A's going to Jared. Very nice, Jared. What a nice stack for you, Jared, getting the Nick Gonzalez refractor and the Dane Acker auto to 250. I know you wanted that Nick Gonzalez auto. Real nice card here for the Royals. Love that card. Wearing the sky blue. Yeah, Soderstrom would be nice too. You're right. Yeah, it's, it's been a pretty solid case overall. I, I've been very happy with it. I'd love to get another case if people are into it. Um, but I don't know if people are starting to get tired of draft now. Want something else, mix it up. I could certainly use a break from sorting this stuff. It's a lot of work. <laughs> But if anyone wants to do like a Stadium Club Chrome Mixer with uh, with some Brooklyn collection, I've got I've got the stuff to do that. Um, but I'm I'm open to other things too. If anybody has ideas, I want to know I want to know what you guys want to do. Are there any other products right now people really want to see? Now Luke Luke was just talking about Heritage High Number. Oh, you did sell the the super? Congrats. There's a green green paper there. Yeah, Sam Club Chrome is awesome. I've got uh, 15 blasters of that on the way. Maybe we can mix the Brooklyn collection into the Heritage High number. I don't know. Got to find something to mix it with. I just don't, because it's, they're only, the Brooklyn collection is only seven cards. So I don't want to do it by itself because then a lot of people get skunked.
That's awesome, Mike. Congrats. Yeah, it's crazy when you pull a super fractor out of a blaster. Smell cooking. I wonder if. Oh, there. Look at that. Green. Max Meyer. Miscut, but they're almost all miscut. Very nice. Green to 99. Max Meyer. For the Marlins. That one snuck up on me. I didn't see the green coming. Very nice. Forgot who has the Marlins. Ryan. Ryan, man, you're having, having a great, great couple breaks here. Garcia. Final run of straight up paper here before there's another Torkelson. Before we do the first edition. Really, really, really hope there's an auto in the first edition. Really want to pull an auto out of there. Nice Bailey Horn refractor, Hunter Bishop, George Kirby, another nice Nick Gonzalez, Anyal Cruz, Petey Halpin, Poisson, Caraway Applied Pressure, Glimpses, Bobby Witt, Andrew Vaughn refractor, nice Seminaris refractor, Blomgren, Kraus, Austin Wells, Siani, Encarnacion, another Nick Lofton, Futures for the M's. All right, we've got some color coming. Looks like some blue. And uh, I think it's a base auto. Doesn't look like a refractor yet. Base auto coming this time. Glowenki. Jared Jones refractor. Tolentino. Zamora. Drohan. Raya. Burns, Casey Schmidt, and a blue Colt Keith. Two colors for Detroit here. Not Torkelson, but uh, but still very nice to 150. Ooh, and a nice Pete Crow Armstrong for Miggy, Refractor, Prater Refractor, Calabrese. Gorman. Swinney, Volpe, Casey, and oh my God. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. It's a Brewers case. Xavier Warren. Congrats, Ryan. 
You are all in on the Brewers, my friend. All in on the Brewers. Xavier Warren, Otto. Congrats, dude. Ridiculous. And a uh, glimpse is Veen behind it. Ridiculous break for the Brewers and for Ryan in general. Yeah, it's crazy. We we hit all the brewers. All right, who feels like they had the worst break? Because uh I want to know I want to know who who I'm really pulling for here in the in the first edition. Or who feels like they're maybe in the bottom five there for that that uh, half case? We know Ryan doesn't need to get any richer. Yeah, not Ryan. Yeah, watch watch Ryan uh, hit like a orange Garrett Mitchell. Yeah, the Reds, the Reds did not, the Reds did not do awesome. You're right. Could use some Austin Hendrick, Austin Hendrick color in the first edition. Yeah, Cleveland, Cleveland didn't do great. Padre, yeah, Padres. Frosty. Yeah, there's a lot of people that could use some hits here because that was that was very heavy on the Brewers. All right, good luck, guys. This, I'm guessing this will be the last first edition box that I open this year. We'll see. You never know. But uh, this is the eighth box that I've opened of this stuff. So I really hope there's an auto in here since I have yet, yet to find one. All right, good luck, guys. Sky Blue to start us off. Spino, Cavaco, a nice Segesi, Sky Blue. Rollison, McClanahan. Hey, there's a Robert Hassel. McConnell, Daniel Cabrera, nice Nick Gonzalez, and Ian Bedell. Yeah, the nice thing is for first edition, I mean, you don't need an auto for a big hit. So, so there's a lot of color. One per pack, typically. Hancock, Alika Williams, nice Carter Baumler, Sky Blue, Baz, Peraza, Nuogu, Casey Schmidt, Holden Powell, Krause, and Trey Cruz. 
the uh, lowest hit numbered hit we had the other yesterday was yellow. So hopefully we have some lower than that. Sky blue again here. Jesse Franklin, Oniel Cruz, and a Miguel Amaya. Sky blue. Chriswell, Jarvis, Hernandez, Casey Martin, McCambly, Stott, and Ragsdale. We got. Sky blue again. Saving the col the numbered numbered color. Bonin. That's a nice one. Trevor Halver for the Yanks. Little ding there on the corner, unfortunately, from the pack. Seminaris, Acker, Joe Ryan. There's a nice Kirstead. Trey Cruz, Christian Robinson, and Tink Hentz. Sky blue again, DL Hall, Julio Ramos, Keone Cavaco for the Twins, George Kirby, Peraza, there's a Torkelson, Riley Green, Chikani, J Rod, and Nuogu. Hopefully, that's first of uh, several Torkelsons. Sky blue again, yes. Dax Fulton, Pat Bailey, Justin Lang, sky blue for the Padres, Garrett Mitchell, Volpe, Van Eck, Alvarez, Lede, Duran, and Polkovich. All right, just going to sleeve these guys up. Top load those a little later. All right, here we go. Next stack. Still just sky blue. Sammy Infante, Blake Rutherford, Zach Britton, first Bowman, Jackson Rutledge, Justin Foscu, J Rod. Matt Dyer, Chikani, Joe Ryan, and Jaron Duran. Man, only sky blue so far. Goss, Glowinky, Logan Hoffman, nice first Bowman, Holsizer, Luke Little, Jason Dominguez, Hunter Green, Landon Knack, Perdomo, and Kyle Nicholas. All right, we need some numbered color here. Looks like more sky blue. Reese Hines, Jared Schuster, Luke Little, Sky Blue, Garrett Crochet, Zach Britton, Chris McMahon, Robert Poisson, P.D. Halpin, Mason Wynn, Quinn Priester.
All right. This got to be our first numbered card here. Come on. There we go. Blue to 150. Xavier Edwards, Clayton Beater, Trevor Larnick, Trent Palmer, Liam Norris, Drew Romo, Addison Coffey, Earl Carraway, Helio Ramos, and Joey Cantillo to 150. Non first Bowman pitcher. Not ideal, but good, good, good card for you, Tim. As a Cleveland fan, some something nice for you at least. Not an auto, but Coar, Cole Henry, Ian Bedell, first Bowman Sky Blue, Vukovic, Bush. There's nice Zach Veen. Lang, Evan Carter, Colt Keith, D.L. Hall. Shortridge, Abrams, Kyle Isbell, Sky Blue. Nice Reed Detmers, Alex Santos, Bailey Horn, Adam Seminaris, Ethan Hankins, Tank Hentz, and a very nice Austin Hendrick. All right, we've had mostly sky blue here in the first 12 packs. So hopefully this is where all the uh, number color is in these second 12. Let me get more sleeves out here. That's our foilless pack. Jackson, Crochet, Tolentino, Gilbert, Davis, Poisson, Phillips. There's another Torkelson, though. Hence and Lodzinski. All right. Glad we got double up on the Torkelsons. Helps, the, helps make that Tigers break worth it for sure. All right, hopefully that's our only foilless pack. Usually there's only one. All right, what do we got here? Sky Blue again, Santos, Casey, Tacoa Roby, first Bowman, Corbin Carroll, Aaron Shortridge, Brandon Fat, Reed Detmers, Perdomo, McConnell. It's nice, Robert Hassel. Yeah, it's definitely not bad. That's why, I mean, that Tiger spot is often, uh, you know, worth going for just because uh, when there's first edition involved, all you need is a base card or two to... cut your buy-in down. Zach Britton, Chris McMahon, Sky Blue, Holden Powell. Hunter Bishop, Sam Weatherly, Connor Phillips, Tanner Burns, David Calabrese, nice Soderstrom, and Ronald 
Hernandez. Man, it's still only one, uh, one numbered card so far. There we go. Here's a blue. Blue to 150. I hope there's a real low number in here somewhere. Chriswell, Infante, Nice Crow Armstrong, Burleson, Romo, McCambly, Schuster, Boyle, Encarnacion, and very nice Foscu. Blue to 150, first round hitter, jersey match. That's what I'm talking about. Nice hit there for the Rangers. Going to Jason. There you go, Jason. Nice hit, man. Very nice card. Love the color match. Love the first round hitter numbered card. First edition Bitsco. All right. Should have one in here for you, I would think. Jackson Miller. Daniel Cruz, Kyle Nicholas, first Bowman, Sky Blue, Jensen, Trent Palmer, Cantrell, Marco Raya, Cavaco, CJ Abrams, and Robert Poisson. All right, we will be 75% through the box after this pack. All right, there we go. We got some yellow. Finally. Let's go. Be a big hit here. Cotton, Krause, Beater, Zamora, Gilbert, Crochet, Thomas, Lang, Cantillo, First Bowman, Alec Burleson. All right. For St. Louis. St. Louis hasn't had uh, any, any big hits, I don't think. That's a nice one for St. Louis. Going to Frank. Not that Frank needs it with the heater he's on right now. Hitting Kirstead autos left and right. All right, hopefully this last stack is, is full of color here. Corbin Carroll, Jared Jones, Josh Young, Sky Blue, Ashby, Quinn Cotton, Deloach, Hernandez, Prater, Van Eck, and Owen Miller. Dingler, Xavier Warren, Shortridge, Sky Blue, Tolentino, Barnard, Tucker, Jordan Walker, York, Lodolo, and Canario. Some nice first rounders there. feel like we're a little shorted here, though, on the, the numbered color, unless every one of the last packs here has one. Nope. Kirby, Baumler, Xavier Edwards. It looks nice, but not a first Bowman. No, Garrett Mitchell, Solare, Hoffman, Vientos, Parker, Isbell, and Downs. All right, guys, I got to say, it's been a pretty disappointing first edition box. We only have three packs left. We've only hit two numbered cards. That's brutal. All right, here's another blue, at least. Zach Daniels, Connor Phillips. There's a nice Asa Lacey. Werner Blakely, Brett Beatty. Marco Raya, Josh Young. Trevor Halver, Groshans, and Ryan Murphy. 
to 150 for the Giants for Mike. Here you go, Mike. Really hope there's like a, a red or an auto or something these last couple packs because this has been one of the worst first edition boxes that I've opened. Maybe the worst. Sky blue, God. Amaya, Alvarez, Swaggerty, Sky blue. Cavalli, Lutz, Gill, Rutschman, <laughs> three Torkelsons at least. Incarnacion and Dabovich. Three Torkelsons is nice. The Tigers uh, ended up with a pretty nice break despite uh, not hitting any big autos. Yeah, three Torques is nice. Um, very nice. It's kind of saving the box here because other than that, it's been a pretty light, light box. Wow, another sky blue. Wow, only three numbered cards. That is, a, that is by far the fewest I've had in, a, in the eight box that I've opened. Usually it's like six to eight, uh, sometimes more. Luciano, Siani, Joey Cantillo, Corey Lee, Jordan Adams, Chamberlain, Freeman, Libertor, Patrick Bailey, and Sam Weatherly. That is all she wrote. Well, I, it's too bad we ended on a low note with the, the first edition being kind of a bummer. But uh, I thought overall the two breaks uh, were really, really good Bowman draft cases. A really good Bowman draft case. Yeah, thanks for jumping in. Um, yeah, I had fun. Uh, I wish the first edition would have been better, but uh, some nice hits today, nice hits yesterday. Probably uh, probably off for me until uh, next uh, next week or uh, next weekend, I should say. Got a lot of a lot of sorting and shipping to do. Figure out what I'm going to do for next weekend's breaks. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. Glad you uh, you had a nice one, man. You bet, Mike. Thanks for buying in. I'll uh, I'll take a picture of all the autos and uh, numbered cards and throw them in the, the group chat for folks that weren't able to see the whole break. You bet, Chris. Yeah, have a good week, guys. All right, appreciate you guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys on Twitter. Have a good night.